last time on Steins Gate Elite. I grabbed the hem of her jacket. <laughs> Pull it aside. I think I could look at her chest. What truth? What truth, you perv? You stupid? You wanna die? Now back to... If you just do it, it'll turn out okay. Because this is Steinke Elite. And this is Vendelia 1998. Back again for everyone's enjoyment. Last time we sat through a lecture from Karisu and and we were sh shown up. Sh sh where she shut off. Anyways, now I guess we're going to continue the story now. So let's do it. I ended up listening to all of Chris's lecture at ATF. After the the two time travel theories here introduced at the beginning, she explained the rest with equal elegance. She seemed a little nervous at first, but that quickly changed as she spoke. By the end, it was an impressive lecture. So impressive that you wouldn't think it was an 18-year-old's first time. Okay, that's a little... Okay, first time. <laughs> she did well to respond to my Melissa's questions with sarcasm. She's got guts. Wait, why am I praising her? Darn it. Leaving that aside. I saw Makisi Crusoe dead. And yet she is alive. My memories don't mesh with reality. And not just my memories of Krisu, but also my conversations with Miri. Remember when I shook her? Did you see it, Miri? You saw it, right? Right? Ah, stop shaking me, Ocarine! <laughs> shake, shake, shake! Maybe she's getting a headache. Head bobbing. I didn't see anything. We this is fun. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> there are two. Everything that happens in this reality stands in stark opposition to the world I, I remember. Everything would be solved if I just told myself what I saw was a dream, an illusion. It never happened. Am I going crazy? No. Are you going crazy? You you play the game. Are you going crazy? It's not me. It's you. I know it's you. <laughs> the time I had snapped out of my in internal monologue, Daru had wandered off. Eh, so be it. I I need to find. I need to focus on finding a way to discover the true cause of my contradictions 
con con of my contradicting memories anyways. <coughs> <coughs> this leaves me with no choice. I arrive at Yanaba Yanababashi Shrine. I need to get exor exorcised. I seriously doubt that the Makisi Kurisu at ATF was a ghost. Regardless, it's natural to seek an exorcism after such an ex experience. I'm Japanese. It's in our blood. Yenabashi Shrine is located on the other side of Kanda River. To find it, enter the f first side of the first side road after crossing Masasi Bridge. It's a very small shrine; that doesn't fit. Is running multi-tenant buildings. There it is. <laughs> Kanda Majonan is the more famous shrine in Akiba. Akiba, but I, de I deliberately chose this one. It's so green! There are two girls standing in front of the main building. One is Mary, and the other is a docile looking beauty wearing traditional Miko attire. Miko, shrine maiden priestess in the Shinto religion. Miko typically dressed in white kimono white kimonos with a red hagamaka or skirt. The role is to assist priests in performing ritual and events. Luca Urbashu, the chief priest's son. Lovely in every way, but he's a guy. Good afternoon, Okabe-san. Good afternoon, Okabe-san. When, when, when met, we met when I rescued him from some aggressive photographers in Akaba's pedestrian heaven. That's in heaven. Some neighborhoods of Tokyo, such as Akabara, closely closed major streets on busy shopping days, this effect turns the streets into one big sidewalk, facilitating pedestrian access. It also happens that Lukaku and Mayuri are classmates. I learned that fact after I gotten to know him. Are you pra are, are you practicing with Samira like I told you? Hi. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> As long as you master the Shinha Sama school of swordsmanship, you can prevent the dark flame inside you from consuming your soul. Demon Sword Samara may be an imitation sword, but that's only the form it takes to hide from the world. When one worthy to wield it appears, and unleashes its true power. I really, I really appreciate this, Okabe-san. 
Okabe ではない。My name isn't Okabe. o k a r i n だよ。It's Okarin! ごめんなさい、Kyoma さん。I'm sorry, Kyoma さん。わかればいいのだ。では、合言葉を。As long as you understand, now speak the words. Uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, 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 Kangaroo. Did, did I get it right? Lukaka smiles happily as I nod. Thank you. Such a beautiful master disciple relationship. <coughs> Mayushi is not a f a s h u s h i but she's getting a little excited. A term for female Akaku with a particular interest in Yali <laughs> or a works of homosexual relationships between men. Does not apply to female Akaku in general. <laughs> well, I'll make your. No, my yuri was swung that way. Eh? My yuri chan, please don't imagine such things. Jeez. Though we do have a master disciple relationship. What are you doing here, Mayuri? I came to see I came to see Lukaku Kun. Kami Khan's coming up next month, and I want him to cosplay as Kari Chan from Rynet, but he won't say yes. Kari Chan. The h e r one of Rynet, Kakaru. His f o r t h name is Nishuria Kairi. She's a smart and athletic girl in the fifth grade. But she's also cute and has a good personality. Basically, the perfect girl, passionate about fashion, hates mushrooms. Kamima, fictional. Kam, ka, Comic Giga Market. Massive otaku event held twice a year at Tokyo Big Site. Every Kamima, thousands of artists gather to sell their creations, which range from erotic, erotic manga, based on popular anime, to original figures, music, and games. The next coming out we hold on August 15th. Date, cosplay するなんて僕恥ずかしいよ But but cosplaying that's just too embarrassing for me. でもルカ君は絶対似合うと思うんだ。But I'm sure you look great in it. こんな可愛い子が女の子のはずがないって大人気になるよ。ねえ、しようよ、コスプレデビュー。The phrase, the phrase, someone this cute can't, can't be a girl is really popular. You know, come on, make your cosplay debut. Someone this cute girl. It is an unwritten rule to use this phrase whenever you see someone who looks like a cute girl but is either. Of unspe unspecified gender or act is actually a boy. 
This person is also used sarcastically with bo boys looking girls. Mayuri's hobby is making costumes. She's made at least 30 so far, but it's rare for her to wear one herself. Instead, she seems to get her kicks from seeing the other people wear them. And it looks like she's chosen Lukaku as her next target. Anyway, Lukako, there's a good reason for, for my being here today. I need to perform an exorcism. An exorcism? Then I'll go get my dad. Please, please wait. No, it's nothing that serious. I just need some peace of mind. That's why I came here instead of Kanda Shrine. So that said, bring out the usual. Uh, uh, um, the, the, the usual? The usual for the exorcism is pretty obvious. Uh, um. 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 <laughs> That's a really dumb looking. I just talked to hear that from Yuri. Yeah, it's the evil spirit in my right arm. <laughs> Be, st be still, foul spirit. Gah! Hurry, Lukaku is trying to take over. So, no, no, no way. Please hang in there, Okabe san. I'm not a Kabe san. I'm, I'm sorry, Kusami san. But, but, but what should I do? I. The exorcism. Hurry, just do it. Like I taught you. Hi. Okay. Please, Luca, expel this spirit from me. Uh, uh. Reason tells me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance makes me feel guilty. Like I made a frail girl, cr girl cry. The voice of a girl. The mannerisms of a girl. More feminine. More fem feminine than any girl I know. He's a guy.
taller than Mayuri, yet oh so slender. He's a guy. Looks stunning in Niku robes. Uh, but he's a guy. <laughs> it's almost evening, yet still as hot, <laughs> still as hot as hell outside. Uh, but he's a guy. He's a guy. <laughs> I'm okay. Looks like he drove this away the evil spirit. Uh, good job, Lukaku. A sigh of relief. I offer Lukaku my thanks. I'm glad I was able to help. Lukaku gave us some corn on the cob, and Mayuri and I left Anabashi Shrine. Though this corn was originally sent to Lukaku's home, Lukaku offered to share it with the lab after it proved to be too much for his family to eat. We truly owe Luka for providing us with these valuable supplies. Still fired up after Lukaku's exorcism, Miyuri sw swung her bag of corn like about like a sword. I'm not gonna blame her. I was excited myself. We tried taking a shortcut. We, we found our path blocked off. It's reasonable, I suppose, given that the bridge that led to Radio Con. With our progress halted, Mayuri ch takes out her pocket watch to check the time. It's a very old watch, not the sort you expect a high school girl to carry. Its name is Pockety. Ever since elementary school, Mayuri has carried Pockety with her everywhere. It's her most important treasure. If she skips her about the time, it must mean she has to go to work soon. Her work must be corona, cr coronavirus approved. Without saying a word, I extend my hand to Mayuri, offering to take the corn back to the lab myself. Arigato. Thanks! Oh, the hands touching, that's just adorable. Well, time for me to go to work! Mayuri. Wait, Miyuri, back at Radio Khan, you heard a man scream. Right? Hime? Scream? When was that again? This afternoon. I, I don't think I heard anything. Oh. Oh, well. Alright. Look, oh, Green's a weirdo. I turned to the lab to see a large, fearsome man thing out front. I 
it's a workshop manager, actually the owner of the whole building. You go Tin Tinju. I call him Mr. Braun. It's a funny name for someone who loves Braun tubes. No sooner done had he caught my attention than that unfamiliar woman jumped out from the Braun tube workshop. What's up? Uh, um, who is this? What sort of woman greets people like that? Amane Suzuha desu. Susuwa Amane. After that night, nightmare of a greeting, she introduced herself. Such an odd build behavior. Could she be an organizational spy? Oh, 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 so you're the kid who wants the job interview. A job interview? This young woman? You're gonna work at this the dull, dirty, depressive, depressing, debt-ridden de brand to workshop this filthy old manager? You want extra? You want extra ten thousand yen add to your rent? I'm.もっとも部外者が口を出す問題ではないが. My my right but the truth. Though I suppose it's not my place to get involved. Shikashi Brown Kan Kobo ga Baito Boshu Stita Tomana Kono Himasadeva Sono Hisio Seo Mataku Kanjinai no Daga. Anyway, I had no idea the Bronte workshop was hiring. It always looked so free, I didn't know you needed the help. Uh Actually, I'm the one. Uh, actually, I'm the one to beg for the job. Uh, I'm the one to beg for the job. I'm the one to for an answer. Age? i why do you want to work? Why do you, why do you want to work here? Because I love CRTs. Hi, you hired your shot tomorrow. Wait, are we? What is this? Is this kind of sort of joke? Are we on camera? Thanks, thanks, boss. Um, who are you? Are you going to work for me? You, you dare ask my name? Banish the thought from your head, girl. To learn it would place your life in jeopardy. Countless women have... Oh. She has a lot of... That's a long typing phrase. Countless women have worn my name only to find themselves targets of the organization. Sarah in America, Claudia in Italy, Simone in France. I won't put anyone else in danger. Hey, stop pulling things out of your ass. This idiot. This idiot reached the second floor. Names 
Okabe Rintaro. Okabe de Vanai. Whatever hoin. My name's Okabe. It's here. It's. It's. Hyone. Hyone. Russe. Yachin Saran is saying, Wano says Rusa. Would it or raise your rent? Okabe. Rintaro. I'm Okabe Rintaro. I don't anything about work. I don't anything about work. since it's after you. Oh, that's right. It's not But if you're ever in trouble, Okabe Rintaro, let me know. I can help with stuff like that. Huh? 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 Stuff like what? It doesn't necessary. I can hurt them so bad they'll never bother you again. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, I don't think you should hire her. Ah, that's yeah, this might be a wild one. I'll fire if she causes any trouble. Anyways, ignore that organization nonsense. It's all in Okabe's head. It is? <laughs> you just keep thinking that. It's not the current trend. Thanks for the tip. But someday the world will kneel before me. Mio ha 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 ha. After I make it back to the lab, I lug the broken TV down to the Brun to workshop for repairs. Sign on the door says close, but I know from past experience not to to get a face value. Sure enough, I see Mr. Braun in his workshop, relaxing with a cup of tea. Oh, what's up, Okabe? Yo, what's up, Okabe? What's up? That TV you gave me broke. That that's what. I bet you're treating it rough, weren't ya? Love. You gotta treat him with love. Like a like a fine wine or a good woman. A muscle bound muscle bound ball guy talking about love. It sends shivers down my spine. Yeah. I'll need, I'll need, I'll need repairs, post haste. Man, why do you always talk like that? <laughs> I see no sign of Susa, uh, Amani Susa, Susa Amani. The woman from earlier outside the shop. But I do see our CRT screens everywhere. The haphazard layout makes them seem like junk, but they're all functional, according to Mr. Braun. He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are even are probably older than me. There are even some flat screens and eight. There are even some flat screen HD CRTs that came out just before, before LCD took took the market. Ah, oh, oh, there's probably just a loose 
solder, solder, solder on the board. Oh, I can fix that. Really? Well, then, by all means. Hold on, I'll get you an estimate. What? You're charging me? Me? Hoeing Kiyoma? The math scientist of the world? What? You what do you think? This ain't some charity. You're the one who gave us the TV. Yeah, so what? Never side service it for free. Curse you! Curse you! You have some gall to say that. They're policy. Fosting a half broken piece of junk onto us. Oh, shut up. If you don't want it, I can take it back. Though I have to charge you for its safe disposal. Extortion! You're the man who may very well be the ch who may who very mil who very may well may change the future of the mankind. If I could ever talk, if I could s s read the read the right words on the screen. Huh? Oh, who's that now? Me, of course. Who else? Brush your teeth and go to sleep, kid. Get some nerve to be, talk to be back talking when I'm letting you rent the second floor for next to nothing. Hmm. You shall have your money, Mr. Braun. I meant, to, I meant to talk him into giving us a temporary replacement TV in exchange for the repair fee and carry it back up to the lab. Message. So fatty. It's from Mayuri. Fatty. I don't. I don't want to get any of the other girl froggies, but I did want fatty. But now I think about it, it's that cute. Actually, it's kind of. Weird looking. I wonder why I went so badly. Hey, I realize Fatty kind of looks like Daru. Should I reply? Uh, yes. <laughs> Just the body, right? No, no reply. No comment on Dara's face. There, that should do it. Hmm. I think that should be it for now. Yeah. I'll meet some new character. Meet some new characters. Two gr two two girls. I mean, two guys and a girl. Yeah, he's a guy. But anyways, I wonder what's going to happen next. Oh, I guess we'll find out next time on Stance Get Elite. Be sure to hit, be sure to hit that. Bell and the subscribe button and that bell if you haven't yet, and the thumb ups and that thumb up button too. And stay tuned for more Steinsgate Elite. Never stop learning, and enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time.